everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I did this smoky cranberry plum look. It's really pretty. I was thinking you could use it for prom, which is coming up soon, if you're wearing a black dress, a plum dress, even a cranberry dress, just to give you some pop on your eyes. Here's a picture of what it looks like. Also, I added some false lashes just to make the look a little more complete. Um, those are optional. You don't have to do them. If you don't do them, I would say just add on a few extra coats of mascara just so your lashes are nice and full. I am using, again, the Coastal Sense um, 88 Metal Mania Palette. So if any of my younger viewers are going to prom this year, and if it hasn't passed yet and you want me to do a look for your dress, go ahead and just send me your um, dress, like in, like a picture of your dress, or describe your dress to me like with the colors, and I will do a look for you for prom. If you guys have any questions, just ask, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. I'm starting out with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I am going to apply that to my lid, not to my brow bone. You want to start out with a clean surface, smooth surface. Taking NYX Double Pencil and Black Bean, I'm applying that just by my lash line. Don't worry about it if it's not even. Take a fluffy brush or your finger and blend this in. Alright, the first color we're going to put down is in row 7, number 3 down. It is a pretty lilac color. I'm just using a Smashbox number 32 flat shader brush. You're going to apply this to your lid and where you place the black. Next will be our crease color. I'm using the Smashbox number 30 brush. It is the pencil brush. We're going to go into the ninth row, eighth color down. It is this dark cranberry color. Let's go ahead and pack that on your brush. And you're going to apply this just above the lilac color you put down. All right, so now once you have that line, you're going to want to start, if you look down normal, you're going to want to see like how far you want the color to go up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Okay, so I've applied the color as far up as I want. I'm taking the Sigma 224. I'm going to blend it out. You're just going to blend it till you get the right color you're looking for. I blended a lot and softened the color and be sure to blend these two colors together so there's not just like that stopping line. For a highlight color I'm using the first row third color down. It is this white but it actually is a duochrome so it has like a light icy pink in it. I'm applying that with a Sigma 217. I'm just going to apply that to your brow bone. Having the duo of the white and um, the icy pink, it really makes these colors really pretty. Next, I'm taking a 219 pencil brush. I'm going into an, a Revlon color. It's called Charcoal. It's a little bit of glitter, but it doesn't really show up. Um, I'm just using this black since there's not one in the palette. Tap it off and you're going to focus this on the outer V to really deepen it and smoke it out. All right, you can see that it's not a defined V. It's more of a smudged out V. Go ahead and just blend that black color into the outer corner. All right, the last color we're going to add will be for our lower lash line. It is in row five, the very last color, which is number eight. 
It is a smoky purple. Tap off the excess and add this to your lower lash line. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm using Stila Smudge Pot in black. I'm going to be applying it with the Sigma 209 brush, just a very fine tip. I'm going to do it really thin on the inner corner, wing it out just slightly. You can see that it's slightly winged out right there. After I do that, I'm going to apply some mascara. The mascara I'm using today is Too Faced Last Injection Pinpoint. Looks like that. After I do that, I'm taking Elf Natural Lashes and I'll apply those to my top lash, obviously my top lashes. Once I do that, I'll be right back. This will be our cheeks. I'm using Rosy Glow by Physician's Formula. This is what it looks like. I'm going to apply that to my blush brush. And apply it to our cheeks. Be sure to blend that in really well. For lips, I want to use a lighter color since our eyes are pretty dramatic. I'm going to be using Rimmel London's Airy Fairy. It just looks like it's a very light pink. Apply that. to brighten up the lips a little bit so I'm using Brightening Lip Gloss by Smashbox. It has all these different colors of glitter to catch the light. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will list everything down below so go ahead and check that out and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.